Hi guys, welcome to Archer Crypto. I am Alan Chang. Let's get started. In this episode, we'll cover how inflation will affect the Bitcoin price, what is Joe Biden's executive order on digital asset, why United Nations recommended developed nations taking actions against crypto, Polygon selected for Disney Accelerator, the current status of Celsius, and what's the trading volume of GameStop's NFT marketplace. Also, the latest news and market movement. If you like my video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below. Many, many thanks to you all. The U.S. Department of Treasury announced an open invitation for comments on President Joe Biden's executive order on digital assets. To leverage the wisdom of the crowd, the Biden administration and the U.S. Treasury are asking citizens to comment on Biden Executive Order 14067. The notice this Biden administration objective as protection of consumer, investor, and business in the United States, protection of the United States and global financial stability, and mitigation of the systematic risk. Mitigation of the illicit finance and national security risk posed by the misuse of the digital asset. Reinforce of the U.S. leadership in the global financial system and technological and economic competitiveness, including through the responsible development of the payment innovation and digital assets. Promotion of access to safe and affordable financial service. And support technological advances to promote responsible development and use of digital assets. Again, the trick for the government is not getting involved too much, or else we all know what's going to happen next, which is another crypto war. Besides the US, the United Nations recommended developing nations take actions against crypto, warning of risks associated with leaving the industry unregulated. In the document titled, All That Glitter Is Not Gold, the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development UNCTAD stated the disadvantages posed on these nations by cryptocurrency far outweigh the benefits they may bring individuals and the financial institutions. And the document goes on far as to suggest developing nations require the mandatory registration of all crypto wallets and bank advertisement related to cryptocurrency. In this case, I can understand some point of the recommendation of mandatory registration of all crypto wallet, which makes it easier to track, but why bank advertisement related to crypto? Instead of banning, why don't they set regulation for advertisement listed in public? The Walt Disney Company hasn't made any crypto play of its own yet, but now it has multiple crypto company in its accelerator program. Disney announced the 2022 participant of the accelerator program, and leading Web3 company Polygon is among them. After this announcement, the price of Polygon went up around 20%. The project noted in an earlier tweet that it's also the only blockchain chosen for the program. It's unclear how many others apply or were under consideration. Disney said the participant will be provided with investment capital and access to co-working space in the entertainment giant creative campus in LA, and mentor support and guidance from Disney executives, entrepreneurs, investors, and business leaders from the entertainment and technology fields. Can't wait for Disney to get into the crypto world, since it's everyone's childhood. As an update for Celsius, it has finally paid off its last major outstanding debt. According to data from Etherscan, Celsius paid back $50 million in DAI to Decentralized Finance DeFi Lending Protocol Compound. In return, Celsius received its collateral for the loan, which is almost $200 million worth of RAT Bitcoin. The loan had been over collateralized, meaning that Celsius originally had sent Compound Digital Asset and access to the loan to help cover potential losses. Recouping so much collateral is no small matter for Celsius. The company came dangerously close to losing the deposit to collateral liquidation at several points in May and June, and was one of the first crypto lending platforms to freeze accounts. Sounds like this piece of good news for Celsius, right? But after weeks of speculation and rumors, lawyers representing Celsius officially notify regulators that the company is filing for a Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. According to the co-founder and the CEO of Celsius, Alex Mashinsky, this is the right decision for their community and company and they have strong experience teams in place to lead Celsius through this process. As a reminder, Jason Stone, the CEO of KeyFi, also filed a lawsuit against Celsius. And Celsius currently hired lawyers from Kirkland and Ellis LLP to oversee the company restructuring plans. Seems like Celsius finally done struggling and finally made the right decision during this period of time. For further information, I'll keep you guys updated. Remember the new Ethereum-based NFT marketplace of GameStop that I talked about? It has been live in beta for over 48 hours, but it hasn't even offered gaming NFTs yet, which will be the marketplace's planned core offering. 
even so. The video game retailer new platform has already seen nearly twice the all-time trading volume of the Coinbase's NFT marketplace, which has been open since May. Since Monday's launch, GameStop NFT has seen at least 3,167 Ethereum in trading volumes, equally almost 3.5 million represented a trading volume for their marketplace top 50 collections. GameStop NFT earlier performance pale in comparison to do that leading NFT marketplace at OpenSea, which is 16 million in trading volume on Wednesday alone. But the fact that the video game retailer has so quickly eclipsed the all-time volume there's a great potential for GameStop to move to its number one goal. As we talk about NFTs, a desirable NFT still commands a multi-million dollar price tag. CryptoPunks number 4464 sold for 2,500 Ethereum, or just over 2.6 million at the time of sales. In terms of Ethereum pricing, it's tied up with two other apes for the fourth largest CryptoPunks NFT sales of all time. CryptoPunk is one of the most valuable and successful NFT projects around. Launched in the year 2017 by Larva Labs, the Ethereum project debuts as a free experiment. Seems like beside BAYC and Axie Infinity, we have another good shot to focus on. Now, let's check out the market movement. Before that, I would like to talk about how will inflation affect the Bitcoin price. First of all, we need to understand what is inflation. Inflation is when the decreasing value of the currency, like US dollar, increases the price of goods and services over time, thus helping the economy grow. However, largely bearish market condition and social political issues have played a key role for establishing Bitcoin's price lately. After reviewing these simple facts, it's easier for us to understand the current situation that Bitcoin is facing. By using a simple logic, ask yourself, if the dollar loses value, will you invest it in cryptocurrency or pull out some to buy necessary goods? So if the CPI index keeps rising, it will be really hard for the whole market to keep its stability. So the increase of the interest rate from Fed is needed to keep it under control. This is a weekly candlestick chart for Bitcoin. As we can see, it's currently entering the consolidation phase. Remember the Gang 7 theory I talked about? Now it's currently 4 candlestick after Sunday midnight of this week, so there might be a major change in the next 3 weeks, which makes it reasonable because FOMC meeting is happening within 2 weeks. And this is the daily candlestick chart for Bitcoin, as we can see the triple bottom is formed, so let's wait for a breakthrough. Of course for short term traders, we can set up long position after it breaks, but please be ultra careful because long position for the current market is really risky. According to the hourly candlestick chart of Bitcoin, it actually spiked up after a bit after the bottom. But it broke the uptrend line so the short term drop might happen soon. Overall, after companies start following bankruptcy and nations urge to set up regulations, the whole market is really fragile, especially when the FOMC meeting is happening within two weeks. But I would like to remind everyone again now it's actually a good timing to focus and do more homework about NFT market. Thank you for watching Watch Our Crypto. If you like my video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below. I am Alan Chang. I'll see you next time.